Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss one more table manipulation function in Power BI called as distinct. First, let's review the syntax and then try to implement it with the help of an example. Here is the definition and the syntax. Returns a table by removing duplicate rows from another table or expression. It takes just one parameter, that is table. Return value, a table containing only, only distinct rows. So if you look at the syntax here, distinct table. So what it does is if you input a table name here, it returns all the values from a table which are unique. If there is any duplicate records or a rows, it ignores that record and takes only the unique values. So distinct function either you can use a table as a reference but if you want to get one single column, you can use just the one column here as a reference. So that's the main difference between using a table as a reference and the column as a reference. With the help of an example, let's see how we can use this function in PBI. Here is the PBI and I have one table called as fact. We have three columns, order ID, the brand, and the product. The order ID ranges from one to 17, and you have various brands under these orders, let's say Apple, Samsung, and also various products, etc. If you notice here, ID 1017 is repeated twice. The entire row is exactly the same. This was done with a purpose. So now let's try to use the uh, distinct function and see how we can get a unique table or a unique column. So first let me click on new table here and call this as distinct table equal to distinct. First let me use the entire table and then see what is the result I get. Hit enter. I get all the distinct rows and columns here. If you notice now, if I sort this in the order ascending, you can see ID 1017 now appears only once because the distinct function removes any duplicates and gives only the unique records. So this is how we can use a distinct table distinct function with a table as a reference. Now let me try to create uh, one more table here and then call this as distinct column equal to distinct. Now instead of using the entire table as a reference, I'll just use the column brand as my reference. Hit enter. And now if you see here, I have only three records because Apple, Samsung, and Xiaomi. And the reason here is like I have used just one column as a reference instead of the entire table. So this is how we can use distinct function by taking either the table or a column as a reference and get the desired output. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.